Hi everyone, I'm Travis Guillory in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen with Chef Valerie from OUTU School of Community Medicine. Thanks for coming in for us today. Thank you. So, uh, a little fall outside, a little cooler, you know, definitely not dealing with summer heat like we were a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so we're making something a, a little fall inspired today. Right, so a lot of people do associate um, pumpkins and winter squashes with fall and so that's exactly what we're doing. We're going to make a yellow curry um, soup. And so it's a yellow curry pumpkin soup. And so okay. you could use butternut squash. Um, I do love the substitutions that are available with this. So acorn squash, butternut squash, but this is actually a canned pumpkin product. So it's like the canned pumpkin that you would use to make pumpkin pie at Thanksgiving or Christmas, but don't get the one that's pumpkin pie filling because that has sugar and those cinnamon and spices and it's things for like a that pumpkin in it. Pie, not just pumpkin. Right. That's so that you a, want okay, good catch because I'd probably be the one that buys the pumpkin, <laughs> pumpkin puree pie. is what you're looking for. Okay. And so it's going to have nice thickness with the pumpkin. Already in our pot, we have onion, garlic, and ginger sauteing with a little bit of olive oil. Okay. The pumpkin is in some navy beans. That's going to give it some thickness and some extra fiber. Um, we are also going to add some curry powder. That's going to give it great flavor. Mm -hmm. Honey. A little sweet. A little sweetness. If you don't want to use the honey, don't feel like you have to. And then a little bit of salt, and I mean a little bit, like a quarter of a teaspoon and a quarter to a half teaspoon of a ground black pepper. That's going to go right in, as well as this is some vegetable stock that we've already made up from a base, but if you have homemade vegetable stock, that's great too. If you don't have any stock, use water. This has a lot of flavor, so don't okay. feel like you have to um, add the stock if you don't have it. And then this is a plant-based milk. Um, we like oat milk. Milk, um, almond milk, soy milk. There's so many alternatives nowadays. I feel like when you look at the milk section, there's just as much, if not more, <laughs> kind of other alternatives for regular milk. That's right. And one of the great things about those kind of plant-based milks is that you can boil them without them curdling. If you were just to use a dairy milk, it would curdle um, mm. upon boil. So that's one of the advantages of this, as well as a traditional curry is going to have coconut milk. We're not going to use straight coconut milk from the can because it's very high in saturated fat. Um, so this is a much lighter version. Yeah. So all of these things are going to go into the pan. They're going to simmer. All of those vegetables are going to get soft. And then you can puree that if you would like. You can serve it as a chunky soup, but it also can be just um, a pureed soup. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so the last thing that we're going to add, so what I would probably do is if I'm going to puree it, I would go ahead and puree it, and then I would add the spinach right in. Okay, so we're just going to do a few handfuls of spinach that's going to get stirred right into the pot. Which is going to cook down too. It's, it's yes, I mean that two handfuls or two cups of spinach is not cooked down to very much at all. Right. Okay, so that is basically ready to go and you could puree it with the spinach mm -hmm. in there. And so this is our finished product. So this is the um, yellow curry pumpkin soup. It smells good. It, it is a very delicious soup. And so on top of that, maybe just a few dollops of some yogurt. So we've used a plant-based yogurt and some roasted pepitas. So pepitas are just pumpkin seeds. Okay. So this Which is also our... makes it look a little pretty too. That's right. We love the garnish. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, w once again, what was this? It was a... Yellow curry pumpkin soup. And be sure to know that you could substitute butternut squash or any other winter squash. Yeah, I love curry. I love pumpkin. I love soup. So <laughs> it's definitely something good uh, for, for a, a good, you know, fall-like recipe because mm -hmm. we are getting into those months. So uh, if you want to know more about this recipe or really any of the recipes that we make here in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen, head over to our website, kjrh.com. We have this and all the other delicious and healthy things that we make here in our Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen. Once again, Chef Valerie from the OUTU School of Community Medicine. Thanks for coming in for us. Thank you.